to the to the clarify. It's definitely recorded. It's a red light. It's, count, it's counting up, which is always good. Red light. Okay. Yeah. So from earlier. Yeah. So it's off. it's lit, which is great. But how do I sit, switch <laughs> it off? This is probably the easiest bit of it. So it's the marine, so can't knock them at all. Definitely come back here when the boat needs blacking in a few years. If we're close, that is. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today is something a little bit different. Um, I've had quite a few people asking for, a, if you like, a, I guess for want of better words, a tour of the boat. Um, the inside of the boat that is, because you know we still have to paint the outside of the boat. And this is something we've been holding off doing because obviously we wanted the boat as, as finished as we could before we start really showing people around, you know. Uh, otherwise, what's the point? So today is that day. Um, Karen, Karen's had me tidying up so everything looks spick and span, or as spick and span as it's going to be with a German Shepherd living on board, and me. Don't know which one's worse. Uh, so today I'm going to show you around uh, the, the grand tour of our little home. So I hope you enjoy it. So starting off at the stern of the boat, you can see we've got plenty of storage for coats on, on the left hand side and bags. And on the right hand side, we've got we've got a lot of storage for our shoes, our footwear. You can see we've changed the stairs as well. The stairs have now been painted blue and we've put some carpet tiles on them that's just to help with grip getting off and on the boat as you can imagine uh, makes a big difference and it quietens them down a bit as well coming through to the kitchen you can see um we've we've pretty much finished the kitchen the the units you can see is you may may or may not be aware that it's an ikea kitchen so it's one of their flat packed kitchens you can choose what units you want choose the doors uh, the worktops and we've got IKEA really are the, the kings of storage and something you can never have enough of on a boat as I'm sure you're aware is storage so we've gone for um, a few different storage solutions but you can see on the worktops we've gone for a, a concrete effect worktop and white doors they're not glossy they're kind of a satin finish and that's really again just to, to keep that light feeling in the boat which is something that was really important for us on the boat build a nice light airy feel you can see obviously we're tiled splashback is finished which looks really good really practical as well especially with the the, the oven and the hob um when cooking well not me karen storage solutions you can see uh lots of different drawers um, and we've actually got lots of separators in for keeping things like spices and spice racks in place Karen likes to cook, which is great. Um, I love that. Why not? Um, so it's a really practical kitchen, but it's a proper, you know, cooking kitchen for someone who likes to make their own bread and cook meals, etc. So it's working out really well. Um, you can see we've got our microwave, or our home comforts, our proper kettle and toaster, which is fine, obviously, when you're in a marina because you've got the 240 hookup. But even when we're out and about, we can still use them because we've gone for a three kilowatt inverter so plenty of power in that respect moving through to the saloon or the front room as you might call it um, again continuing that light airy feel you can see we'll we'll have our stove our reflex diesel stove in the corner there the tiling's worked out really quite nice and that stove is is proven to be a godsend yeah you will we'll have it on pretty much 24 7 through the winter and it just takes the chill off everything it really does it makes it a really nice comfortable environment we we'll always have it on it's got six settings we'll have it on between one and three you know we never need to have it higher than three we tend not to use the radiators that much to be honest we really don't unless it's really you know a bit bit 
chilly in the morning and we want to put the hot water on and so forth works out really well you can see we've also gone for quite a I, I call it a bit of a 70s sideboard so you've got a, a stereo unit looks like it should have a turntable on top but one of the things i really wanted or we really wanted was to have a proper stereo you see a lot of narrow boats and they will have basically a, a car stereo yeah nothing wrong with that doesn't take up a lot of space decent sound but people tend to have the speakers in the walls or, or maybe in the in, in the ceiling area you know where the grills are and that kind of thing they'll have car stereo speakers that's not what we wanted I've all, we we really like music and this is something we really wanted so we've gone for a standard home wi-fi media system so it's connected through the wi-fi we can we can have any radio channel we want it can obviously play cds um and audiobooks etc we, we listen to a lot of that kind of thing so that's worked out quite well proper speakers as well had to hunt around for quite a while to find speakers that were small enough yeah and these are dali specter ones just in case you're interested they're a really nice full range proper hi-fi speaker and of course they're quite a small footprint they sound great on the boat they really do so when we're out in the cut we can play our music as loud as we want not bother anyone um, and again it's it's a nice unit it doesn't take up too much room it's quite thin um, and it sits under the gunnels quite nicely you can see we've gone for standard chairs as well again we've got ikea for these really nice comfortable chairs a lot of boaters go for kind of a, a captain's chairs nothing wrong with that but they do look like they take up quite a bit of room and that's not something we wanted so either that or people go for a sofa which tends to be a bit of a sofa bed not for us it's not something we wanted so we've gone for our separate chairs uh, that might end up changing in years to come who knows but they're nice and comfortable and we've got some nice again wooden furniture a little nest of tables and we're, we're lamps on there all the lighting on the boat is, is LED as you would imagine and again you can see the lovely curtains that me me wife produced um and we've gone you know we've brought a lot of pictures from from home um to put on the boat which we really like wanted to do that it's supposed to feel like home isn't it so and again flooring really nice flooring the flooring's worked out really nice and put a couple of rugs down make it for me make it feel more homely going through into the bathroom area so let's have a look here so as we come through you can see we've put some um, stencils up the side of the shower unit that's just to break that little access panel up so it doesn't look so much just look like a blank wall um, we've gone for a full size shower um, I've said in the past went to a normal shower shop easy bathrooms we went to we've got a, a, an 80 by 90 centimeter shower by full door so nice and easy to get into with our shower panels standard shower mixer tap um it's not low pressure or anything like that the, the pump we've got produces enough pressure really nice hot showers really strong flow which is again something we wanted you know got to be comfortable showers been great you can see the bathroom unit um again ikea geez you think you think we were on commission but uh, just being honest where we've bought stuff from a nice ikea unit plenty of storage as you can see nice big wash basin and it and we've got um or cabinet i'm not sure what to call that now bathroom cabinet yes that's not ikea i can't remember where we got that from but we like the industrial feel of that and again lots of storage behind that mirror we've managed to get a nice little uh, shelf into the left there as well just to put some plants on and make it feel a bit more homely with obviously with laundry basket and with towels and we've gone for a nice stencil on the side wall there as well which just again just brightens the place up you know it's just so it's not so flat and bland kind of thing we don't like that compost and toilet working out really well or separating toilet they've got a few different names took a little bit of getting used to first week but now we're into you know how to change it and so forth works out really well uh no issues at all with the simpler really really works out well um so no smell at all as well 
yeah no smell at all because people have asked so really nice so very happy with the bathroom nice and comfortable haven't had any issues with moisture either um even though we don't have a separate extractor quite often in a bathroom people will have a light here which is also a fan um we decided not to go for that i can't remember why not but we haven't had any issues to be honest we've got portholes either side um and if we've got them open no problem at all with steam to be honest so works out quite well coming through to the bedroom follow me through to my boudoir you'll never hear me say that again that's for sure as we come through um you can see i have my desk set up on the left hand side um because i work from home so it's really important for me to be able uh, to, to work comfortably a couple of monitors we're trying to keep everything stored away as best we can but i have to work at the end of the day i've got a sit stand stool which is really quite handy um and again you can see you know storage is important so we've gone for a little wardrobe there uh with shelving and we've also gone for a nice little chest of drawers which gives us a lot of storage um with storage being a premium as well you've got to think about where you put things i, I play the guitar not well but i play the guitar so being able to hang it on the wall like that makes a huge difference it keeps it safe it can't fall all over um it's a nice ambient temperature so obviously it's a wood instrument if you know anything about them you know you've got to be careful about moisture and so forth so that works out really quite nicely and it looks great i don't know if karen agrees but i do the bed as you've probably seen we have gone for an inbuilt bed which is brilliant loads of room uh, it's a nice bright and airy space um i think it's like a king size bed it's it's, it's really big I, I didn't arrange sort the bed out so i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure it's king size it's a really big area um and that obviously is a memory foam mattress um and we've got loads of storage under the bed so uh, the the first third is your water tank and the the accumulator and the water pump but the next two thirds which is about what four or five foot yeah four or five foot is storage which is fantastic it's great having that much room um under the bed for boxes um you know occasional use stuff your summer coat summer clothing your winter clothing um, spare food we tend to keep a lot of that under the bed as well you know especially when you're out in a cut really good idea um so there you go that that's a tour of our boat i, I don't think i've missed anything um but feel free to ask questions you know if you haven't already uh please do like and subscribe and thanks to everyone who has already liked and subscribed the the uptake has been bewildering to be honest so genuinely thank you so much it means so much to it it honestly does and i love answering questions so any questions you've got feel free to to, to ask okay but i hope you've enjoyed looking around our, our home with it's been hard work it's been a hard slog but completely and utterly worth it um i think you'll agree it looks really quite nice different it's it's not your standard narrowboat but that's not what we wanted we've always been upfront about that but uh, as i say any questions feel free to ask otherwise i'll look forward to seeing you all again next time on buzzy's boaty take care whatever you're doing and i'll see you next time okay bye bye now